we have done something incredible that many considered impossible until now. Most of the time when people think of electricity, they think of lighting. But half of the energy in the world goes into electric motors. Motors are everywhere. Your air conditioner, your refrigerator, cars, conveyor belts. Half of the energy that goes into motors is wasted. So how do we make every watt of energy and electricity worthwhile? A switch reluctance motor is not a new design of motorhead that typically are used in sort of bulletproof industrial applications where you want something to run for decades at a time. So think nuclear power plants, those sorts of things. They weren't available for the rest of the world because it was too hard to control. And that's the thing that we've taken over the finish line. Climate change is the biggest challenge of our time and we need to do everything we can in our power to reverse it. If we could replace every motor in the world with our technology, we could cut 25% of carbon emissions. Energy is all about supply and demand balance. We're totally focused on the demand side. So we're trying to reduce how much generation is required to still serve people. And that means that we can shut down the polluting fossil fuel burning generation sources like coal and oil and eventually natural gas. And then it accelerates the shift over to solar and other sustainable generation technologies. I first learned about switch reluctance motors about six and a half years ago. What intrigued me at first was this thing is actually the simplest mechanical electric motor that can be made, but you need electronics and software that are very precisely shaping the current that go into that motor. Well, you really should think of this as almost like a fighter jet. If the computers in that are not running, no human could fly that plane. But by being able to control it with a machine learning algorithm on relatively cheap compute power, now all of a sudden you can take something that is mechanically unstable and it ends up being more agile and in this case more efficient, more powerful and cheaper than any of the competing types of motors. What I found was this really interesting patent that Mr. Piyush Desai had come up with. The basic goal with an electric motor is to take electrical energy in and convert it into mechanical energy. For our motor, we apply a current to create an electromagnet and we have a rotor that tries to align itself with the electromagnet we just created. So what we need to do is switch the current on and off creating an electromagnet at the next coil and the rotor tries to catch up and spin to align itself there. We have to switch the current on and off really fast. 20,000 times a second. The computing power, software, and sophistication required to do that made it quite simply impossible until now. And it's finally not a hard decision to become more energy efficient. It's just good business. We look for where is there the biggest delta between what exists today and what is possible. So that's why we're focusing on buildings and agriculture as a big first market. Many HVAC systems are essentially a single speed. They're on and off. Turn tide motors have complete variable speed control. So you can run your motor at any speed and save tremendous amounts of electricity. I was very skeptical at some of the claims that turn tide was making. 30 to 60 to even sometimes 70% more efficient in the real world. And to see those claims actually bear out and to be able to dig into the data that third parties had done independently was an exciting moment for me. We are installing Turntide's motors in our Spartanburg plant in order to drive efficiency and significantly reduce the cost of electricity. BMW iVentures decided to invest in Turntide because this company is about as close to a no-brainer as we've ever seen in the sustainability space. If you ask anyone that works for Turntide, they're going to say that on a global scale, they are working to slash the energy consumption by half. And they're going to tell you that they're able to do that, and that is what they're going to do. Our work has just begun. Our roadmap is getting into much more advanced applications, so... Appliances. Electric vehicles. Aerospace. A motor system that's intelligent not only can minimize energy use and maintenance for the motor itself, but can also propagate those savings into broader systems like HVAC, entire buildings, campuses, 
and smart cities. You start to look at this as, fine, this is a product that maybe can save some people some money, but in real terms, they can save hundreds of thousands of lives and hundreds of millions of tons of CO2 going into the atmosphere. Replacing the motors just in buildings, just in the US, would be the carbon equivalent of giving the world a brand new Amazon rainforest. And if you branch out to the entire world's impact, it's about the equivalent of adding seven Amazon rainforest carbon impact. But until now, this was just an idea. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to Freethink for more great stories about the people and ideas that are changing the world.